Well, today I'm in the bush and yeah, full of poison ivy. Walked part way with some ladies and their kids and they stayed out. They were all in shorts and skirts. Cranberry Road I'm on. South side, Paradise Village. Now, I'm hearing other signs of activity and I'm not going to leave the camera on for a long time. But, we'll continue to follow the trail here a bit. Yeah, it's uh, densely overgrown. Okay, we'll turn it on in a little bit and move from time to time. Okay, moving along, we're on Buttons Way and we're coming up to the rest area. Here we go. Please remove your dog's feces from the walking path. Use a pooper scooper. Yes. And now there is a nice birdhouse. Let's see if I can just zoom in without too much problem. There. And it's called Wilderness Lodge. Okay, we'll move it back out. Yes, we have a trail going there, and we have a trail going there. And, <laughs> oh, somebody's even put a phone in here for humor. This is good. If, if this thing actually worked, I'd be shocked. <laughs> there we go. Temperature, it says, is 20. Uh, humidity is quite high though. Okay, so, and the bear, we mustn't forget the bear is here. Okay, and the bench, now we got a can here, we look, bush trail log, yes, and I will Open it up. There is a pencil up top and the bottom. Good stuff. I can sign it. Now, down here. Can you see? Down there is a solar. That's actually, it's a garbage can with a foot pedal. I thought it was a solar thing. And there you go. In other words, leave your garbage here. Don't leave it all over the place. Well, okay, and we have a lost and found. Let's sneak over and see what's in the lost and found. Oh, nothing. Okay. And I'm going to sit for a minute and then we'll carry on. Well, and so we have the rock hanging on a steel cable from the limb above and the instruction sheet we'll get up so we can read it okay you can pause it so you can read doll okay well this is the entrance to Cayuga Crossing, and this is a quad trail. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up the little tripod I got, miniature tripod I got with me, and we'll just see. There we have it to the south. Okay. Nice spot here. I like it. No chance at all of having a problem. Okay, I'll be back with you momentarily. Okay. 
I'm trusting that I got the adjustment about right. And so, here I am. Now this haversack was made by a young fellow in the army who was disabled and not able to carry on with his functions and so they taught him how to do sewing canvas for the sole purpose of being able to keep him he was a good man and they didn't want to lose him okay tea kettle there and of course my firebox nano and I'm going to be dropping things into the bag so I don't have anything blow away hopefully you can hear me fine didn't bring an extra of any kind of uh, microphone okay there we are Okay, now I'm going to be double checking to make sure that we're visible momentarily. I don't even need to use my aluminum foil. Okay, I'll just have a look and make sure those things are visible for the camera. I'd like to think so anyway. I'm going to bring the camera closer. Okay, now you can see the firebox nano, and I'm going to zoom it a bit. I may be out of focus, or out of the image, but that's okay. I cheated, and I'm doing this not in the bush, because we don't need brush fires, do we? Yeah, okay. Pick these up on my way through the bush. Can you imagine? Okay. I do have a saw with me. I'll get enough going here. That's going to be about the last one that's going to break readily for me. It's okay. It'll feed through from the edge. Okay. Some smaller stuff. Of course. Okay, some more small stuff, just to make sure we get things burning properly here. Okay. Use a twig. Now, I'm not too certain exactly if I got enough Vaseline on them or not, but I think so. Okay, make it nice and fluffy, and in through the hole. Today, I'm roughing it GSI all the way.
Okay, don't think we're gonna need that. Sweeteners, yes, okay. Got a stone right here. They claim that they'll lay it anywhere. And so in it goes. In. No problem. Once the wood gets thick, I'll feed it in the holes. No doubt we have lots of wood here. Okay. That's definitely enough for a pot of tea. Oh, coffee. <coughs> oh. Got to admit, these old bones are getting a bit. like kicking sand in your glasses. Okay. Now then, folks. I can't zoom in and out. But. This. Is. My coffee press. Have to slide down the cover. It's an arrow press. Okay. I wonder where I got the idea of an arrow press from. And I just pull it down. There. One in from this side. Okay. Now, to my dear friends who led me astray into deciding I wanted to make good coffee. <laughs> That's okay. And hand grinder from the internet, of course. Thanks, Mark Young. And yeah, the first one I did, it was set to fine. It was so fine that I got silt coming right through the filter, paper filter. Anyway, I put in what I need for a measure. And I'm still experimenting, but I'm making it coarse. The good part is, you can see the hole here. Gives you an idea how far you've gone. Like I say, I'm, I'm still experimenting.
And I think I might be seeing steam coming out of the kettle. Now, I'm sure you can see that too. And I'm sure. Yep. Just a little touch more. I loaded. I, I'm still making a using a scoop that came with the press to measure. Okay. I like that the way that the it sits, sits up like that for me. You separate. Okay, that kind of wood being small and dry burns off quickly. I'm going to break off the sticks. And set them here, out here. Okay. Now, hopefully we'll get this to work correctly. Also, hopefully, we will have enough water. Not enough. Okay. There. Top up is okay. Don't like it with the top down. Okay. Yeah, stick one in. Stick another one in. And let's hopefully that'll be enough. Now. Okay. That's it. Okay, we do have flames coming back. Okay. Well, this coffee is going to end up strong. I guess on for one thing, the bottle wasn't full. Okay. So Oh, yeah. I like being able to put the small ones in. The biggest one I'm putting in is actually smaller than my little finger. Well, greetings, folks. Back with you. Uh, sorry about the uh, sudden ending. I don't know what happened unless it was a case of the camera thought there was nothing happening and it went to sleep. And it went to sleep, it did. Okay. Anyway, and I noticed that I've already viewed the images. And you can tell by my shirt. Different shirt. This is an old work shirt. 
and I've got myself cooled off. I was quite warm, sweaty, and uh, and such out there. Pants and all that stuff are in the laundry because of the poison ivy. Pants, socks, you know, everything like that. So anyway, I thought I'd wrap up the end of that video with uh, a few comments from myself. And uh, hopefully what you can see will be helpful. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit and uh, just double check I'm making sure okay anyway why did I run out of water well that was a simple one really it, it, it really was the bottle to the very top 750 mils 24 ounces down here and it was actually below that and I was thinking that was 36 um, because all my other Nalgene bottles are 36 and I have two of these Camelbacks that are 24 ounce and this is one that I drink with uh, water uh, traveling in the car and that kind of thing and I just grabbed it and threw it in the bag and there's a there's a blunder for you okay so that's why when I thought I had enough water in the tea kettle I really didn't okay now also with it zoomed in you weren't really able to see well anyway so uh, matter of fact this thing has still got the old coffee in it. I'll slide down and we'll see how far we can get. Okay. Okay. Uh, it says four cups um, on it. You can see the number is there. I'm quite sure. Um, Arrow press. Let me, I'm going to verify that I can see it. So, okay. Anyway. And then I put on the the cozy or whatever you want to call it for your pop can, beer can, uh, just to help it stay warm. And that seemed to work. And that was an idea from Mark Young. And thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. Now, he's obtained um, stainless steel filter. Um, I didn't bother because of the simple fact that it came with 300 filters. And I figured, use them up and then I'll order one. Anyway, it does turn out a pretty fair coffee, and I'm thankful for that. The grinder, I'll bring it up so hopefully you can read the, the name on it. Okay, I'm backwards here, aren't I? Kitchen Pro. Okay. Oh, don't we won't count the, the drop of coffee on it. You can see the hole. It's on both sides. It's actually a clear liner that's on the inside of the stainless steel. I like it. Now, as you've seen Mark and other guys use, drop the coffee in there, the beans. And um, I measured the beans with a cup. I'm still using just a scoop, okay? And um, I, I'm probably going to end up using more because I made the beans coarser. And here's the adjustment for making the beans coarser. Um, there's no graduations on it, but you can feel the, the clicks um, every so often. So, it does an excellent job. Thank you for that, Mark. Um, I asked him, messaged him and asked him, where in the world did you get that thing? I, knew, I have an electric grinder in the house, and you just squeeze it, and almost instantly you've got espresso grind. Uh, not the greatest. So anyway, for me, this is a keeper, definitely. Now, when I looked on online, uh, and I'm thinking it was Amazon, yes, because, you see, I ordered, I got to get that old spot off of there. Um, when I ordered it, I ordered a pound of decaffeinated coffee as well, a dark roast coffee. Um, it was roasted in Canada, packaged in Canada, uh, black package, and I don't remember the name. Um, anyway, uh, and once I finish up the, the uh, espresso grind, uh, espresso coffee that I bought from um, Mountain Equipment Co-op, along with the press, I'll be using that and giving it a try, and I'll try other flavors uh, or blends as well. Okay, what did I end up having to drink out of? That you didn't see either because 
<laughs> yeah, oh boy, I didn't realize until I went to shut off the camera that it had, it had quit by itself. And I'm using a GSI, and they, they call this the cup. And it's interesting because um, it's 400 milliliters to just below the the the, uh, or, the orange and gray joint here. Um, it's a foam. Um, come on, guy. Rubbery. Uh, and in fact, you can see where the joint is sewn. Um, no meter thick, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off because I'm going to wash it. Don't need to get this thing wet, do I? So, anyway, um, I finished cleaning up while I was sipping my coffee, put the lid on, and I drank it as I did my trekking on the way home. Um, the trails in there are much more easy to follow in the winter, of course. Um, there's a lot of folks that don't like the uh, poison ivy, and I don't either. Uh, but um, I wanted to go in there and, and, and shoot that video. Uh, just regrettably, it ended before I planned on it. So uh, the trails in the wintertime are, of course, they're easier to follow. They're well packed down by the dogs, and, they're, and they're the dog. I always say the dogs are walking, they're humans. So uh, the trails are a lot nicer in the winter, but when I was wandering, I picked up those two small branches, twigs, and I didn't use it all uh, to make my everything, and um, I let it burn down when I drenched it. There was two little pieces about, um, oh, so long was that, about three centimeters or so long, and maybe one centimeter, less than a centimeter thick. But anyway, I had caught water left over, matter of fact, this is how much I've got uh, over, i got about 10 ounces of water left in the bottle. That was my drinking water for on the way home. And uh, I actually drank coffee half the way home. I put the lid on, makes it into a real nice little sippy cup. And so uh, that turned out well, this whole, this whole set. Uh, most of these things that I use today, I had not videotaped before. You haven't seen them with me, you've seen them with other folks. So all in all, it was a, a good walk. I was, I must admit, perspiring profusely when the time I got home. And I'll be drinking lots for the rest of the evening, I'm sure, to uh, rehydrate. So, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And those of you I hear comments from, I, I appreciate them too, you know. Uh, I, he who thinks he knows it all hasn't learned yet that he doesn't know it all. And I know I don't know it all. And just like I don't know why my camera decided to shut off on me. Like I say, I think I didn't move enough. And uh, there wasn't enough movement, I suspect, when while I was uh, doing that last part, making my coffee and that. And that's what happened. So next time I'll try and have it backed out just a bit further. It'll be harder for you to see, possibly. But um, uh, that's it. I'm still learning how to use this. I'm using a Fujifilm. XT20 um, digital camera and um, I got it to replace my, my Nikon and my Canon cameras that I had and all their paraphernalia so I've gone to one camera just two lenses for it one flash nothing fancy and I still gotta get used to them thanks for joining me and please if you would don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe leave comments and a thumbs up I'd appreciate and if it's a thumbs down please tell me why uh, so I can learn from it okay with all the best from Paradise Village in this beautiful Saturday evening now it's time to make supper so I'm gonna get out of here take care Ted's clear